I'm at the driver's side sliding door step. I've pulled the rubber back. Um, I can't really see what's happening. Um, I'm going to clean it back with a, a knot wheel to see exactly what I'm dealing with um, for replacing the it's sold as the rubber seal strip. But basically, that replacement panel. So, I'll clean up uh, with a knot wheel first. There it is. I'm just cleaned up and brushed out with the um, knot wheel and wee brush. As you can see, this is original van. I think this is a repair piece of some description. And then I can see, I think this may be original van onto repair piece on the original van. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut through, the, just cut this lip off basically. And then that will let me get into this back bit and see what's happening at the back there lip cut off. I'm still going to have to flatten this weld back with a um, flappy disc. Um, I think this has been a, another repair at the back of this, but it looks a bit. As you can see, I'm going to have a, a repair to do in here. I'll be able to clean, get in with the finger sander and clean all this edge up and that. Again, here, take this weld back with flappy sander. Again, more holes to fill, eh, to, to cut out. Again, I think there's been a, a repair at the back here somewhere as well. I'll hit a strip at the back and have a look. <clears throat> I'll probably end up cutting most of this out and just repairing it with a bit of sheet metal and that will give me something decent for the lip, the new lip to weld to. I will go get it all thing, uh, cleaned up the finger sander and the flap disc for now. Cleaned it all back with the finger sander and the flappy disc. This side actually came out, I thought this was all going to be rotten in here, but it actually came out not too bad, I'll just have to Wait till Kevin gets back so I can get a shot of his socket set to get this off. And I'll get in more with the finger sander there. As you can see, it cleaned up. Not too bad. Obviously, I'm still going to cut out all this rotten shit all the way along. Um, probably along to here. And then again at the end I'm going to have to repair this piece and when I cut that out that will let me get into you can't see let me in there anyway but for now this is as far as I can get and it's not as bad as I thought it is so I'm going to get on with cutting all that rotten metal out I don't know if you can see it in the sun, it's very sunny here today. I've cut out the rot that was there and I've made that repair panel there. So this goes something like that. I'm just going to go ahead and get that tacked in and I'll show you it before I weld it. There it is, just tacked in for now. The rest of it should be fine, but I think I'm going to blow holes here. I think I'm going to blow holes in this bit. But I'll get on the weld and see how it goes.
This is the way I like to do it, in like inch to inch. That so it doesn't weld, so it doesn't warp so much. That's the theory anyway. And there it is. Well, partially welded in. This bit's certainly not pretty. But I'll get it cleaned up again. Get this bit done. And I'll show you once it's cleaned up. There it is with the weld cleaned up. I've still got to do this little bit here. I've taken one bolt out to move this, but this bolt here is solid jammed, so I'm going to spray some WD 40 on it and leave it overnight. All that cleaned up there. I filled in at that end too. It's not like a million percent hidden. It's nicely blended in at bits, but. It's fine, but that's going to be covered anyway, so I'm not bothered. But what I'm going to do for the night, because that's me done for the day, is uh, cover it with a built hamber up in the inside and stuff. And there it is, covered with a built hamber. And then I'll prime it. And then I'll fix the other bit there. There it is with the built hamber on it um, you wouldn't even really know it had been a repair to be honest happy with that there I got that bit removed and cleaned up the built hamber on that and at the other end got that patch welded in and I'll built hamber that as well the hydrate 80 There I have the panel um, clamped in, roughly, where it needs to be. If you look there, that bodywork lines up in the same there, lines up. I have to make this little corner piece in here. First, um, I'm basically only gonna fix it here along this little edge for now because on this side anyway, because I'm gonna get a replacement one of the B pillar panel and we'll just have to see how that um, finishes before. Um, a weld bit stick or that so I also I'm going to drill <coughs> a 6 mil, 7 mil holes every 2 inches or so um, along here to spot weld it back onto uh, the bit I've just previously put in and that should be it pretty much in after that there is that repair piece welded in I'm not sure how well it comes out on camera because I could barely see it on my phone with the sun on it. So hopefully you could see that. I've cleaned the <coughs> B pillar up with a knot wheel um, just to see how bad it was. Um, this bit isn't too bad, it's fairly salvageable, but because it's I could tell that would be holes in there if I kept on going. So I'm just going to get a replacement panel for this. As you can see, it's had some kind of repairs on it before, which runs to the driver's outer cell. And the inner cell looks like it's been done at some point, which is pretty shit because it doesn't even have the lip for the. I mean, that's just stuck on. So it doesn't even have the lip for that, so I'm going to have to do something with this. 
So that's on the main body go there. You can tell that that's all just gonna be holes. So I have this job to do as well, but back to this. So that's why I'm not gonna fix this runner on anything to do with this because this is getting replaced. There I have the sill in dry again, um, just with clamps. I've drilled out the bottom every two inches or so, like I said, for spot welding. Um, I'm going to clean up like so this area first before I weld it in, and in here before I weld it in. Um, just so I could have not get access to it. Now, in the comments of my last video, um, Badger LC350 mentioned about these bits. And as you can see, this sits way proud of the original. So he suggested that before it gets welded on, I um, don't know if you can see. Before it gets welded on, this lip gets folded over, just with the hammer I suppose, fold this lip over and on the corners just trim it back. Now I can see his point there, so that's probably what I'll do, in fact I will do that. So thank you Badger LC350 for the tip. Um, you can see what I've done here to dress the... Uh, fold the lip over and they keep it nice and straight. There is the workshop as it's progressing. Kevin and Dinky, Daniel, have been busy this weekend. I wasn't much help, I was on the fan. And here is the roof that Kevin made. Just watching my feet here as I turn around. Kevin's dad and Daniel made every one of these trusses themselves. So, job well done. spot welded in. I'm going to clean them up and get the top bits welded in now and along the side there. There's that bit cleaned up. To be honest, you'd hardly even know I'd been there. Wouldn't you happy with that? Spot welds are clean back enough. You can still see that it's been spot welded but I'm not bothered about that. I'm happy enough with that. And this wee edge is in as well. Happy with the job on that for now. And that just leaves to, to trim this bottom edge, which I'll just run the grinder along the uh, here. There it is with a uh, Primer and the seal back on. Clean up a bit of this floor. Um, the tub, sorry. To fit this bit floor piece in. And finish off that bit. I'll show you when it's all cleaned up. That area up now. And uh, I actually forgot to video it. And then uh, I've covered it in built hand a couple of coats. <clears throat> Obviously I'll need to clean some of that back to weld, but it's for the bits that I can't get to after I've welded, so... Good stuff. Here's my multi-part uh, cardboard template for this wee bit of the flooring. There is a um, repair piece, if you like. I'm a bit off with this angle here. 
So maybe just cut that right off there and do a, another wee tabby bit. But the fold seems to be roughly in the same in the correct place. I need a bit of wiggle in. Slight gapage. But if I trim this down slightly in this little corner here, this will let this go tighter in and I'll not lose too much on the tub. The tub can actually pull back to it slightly. On this edge, I don't know. I could always, one, once I've got the rest of it welded in, just run the grinder down there. So I know it's a good line. That's probably what I'll do actually. I've sprayed some etch weld, um, that's weld through primer on it um, because I've run out of time today and I don't know when I'll get the chance to get back to it and Scotland being Scotland we get four seasons in one day so it could well rust so I've put the weld through primer on it just now. There I have the floor repair piece tacked in. Um, I'm just going to get one and weld it in just now. There is <coughs> that piece welded in. Um, ignore this because when I went to join in the tub it just all fell to shit. Um, and I ended up uh, setting the van on fire on the other side, which I'll show you. Set the van on fire again. Really should clean back that under seal. But um, it's in and it's pretty solid. Obviously, when I, I'll clean all this back and try and make it look nice. But they're all right welds. And just to mention that this is the, the weld through primer that I did this front and back sides and it seems like it comes out quite well if I can get to focus which can't so yeah, looks like it's good stuff. It's peace of mind when you spray that on the back of someone anyway. There is the, the weld cleaned up. Um, that'll need another pass, obviously, with the weld there. But it's not as bad as a first throw. That, not too bad. I'll seam seal like along. I'll seam seal along here anyway. It'll hide a lot of these welds, but I'll still fill all those gaps in first. But it's coming along. It's another job off the list. Probably call it a day for the video.